someone will win Titania today. She is the greatest spaceship that has ever been built, the warship that cannot be beaten. And the star system has talked of little else for weeks. From the gods in their lofty celestial realms, to the Garuda that live on the sun, to the mortals on our planets and ships, Titania has shaped our every word. What she can do, who is likely to win her, what the outcome of the contest will mean for our world. It's a vast galaxy spread across space and stars, and yet it feels so small when war and its infinite reach tiptoe closer. It's like a game of warlords. Which star is the checkered board where the battle for the crown must be fought today? The competition is the battle, and Titania is the crown. And as the minutes tick down, the pieces move into place. A usurper king, a heroic exile, a jealous prince, an old warrior, a cursed mother, a war goddess, and a girl. You'd be forgiven for thinking the girl is irrelevant. The other players are powerful, important, the kinds of people around whom legends are spun. They are mighty pieces on the board. The girl, on the other hand, is a pawn, noticed by almost no one, the least important piece in the game. She has no wealth, no glory, no power, and no family. But she's not irrelevant. I'm not irrelevant. I tell myself that, day in and day out, and I've fought for every bit of pride I now have. And even then, it's hard sometimes to believe the thought. Even today, as the competition promises to electrify the world, and I teeter on the edge of every desperate secret wish I've ever made, I'm more afraid than I am sure. I'm afraid of losing my nerve. I'm afraid of failing. I'm afraid I won't be enough. I know what you're thinking, says a voice behind me. My arms are buried to the elbows in hot, soapy water, so I don't turn around. I'm thinking I shouldn't have promised Madame Lee I would wash the dishes before the competition, I say, because now I'm going to be late if I don't hurry.